sweets play an important role in the consumption of Japanese green tea. There is historical context to this, but these desserts are still enjoyed alongside green tea today as a type of food pairing. Instead of adding sugar to green tea and disrupting the flavor, you can instead eat a delicious treat alongside it. This helps to smooth out some of the bitterness while still being able to appreciate some of the subtle aspects of the green tea. Let's go on a short journey around Japan to learn about the different ways these sweets are made and enjoyed. First, we begin with the tea ceremony. This is where these traditional sweets, also called wagashi, started being paired alongside green tea. The tea room is very sparsely decorated, but the few decorations that do exist, such as the scroll and the flower arrangement, are meant to convey a theme. In this particular tea ceremony, the theme is autumn. The scroll welcomes the coming of a new season, the flower arrangement includes fall leaves, and the wagashi is also on theme, being made with roasted chestnuts. This is meant to create an immersive experience for the guest, where they can leave behind the stress of their daily life to enjoy a simple bowl of tea in silence. Next on our journey, we travel to Nara, where they still make mochi the traditional way. Mochi is a sweet made from rice that is pounded into a dough. It is commonly filled with sweet azuki bean paste to make daifuku, one of the more popular forms of mochi. This method of hand pounding is called mochi suki. They have to be careful to coordinate their movements so that nobody is hurt in the process. The end result is a delicious treat that is topped with kinako or roasted soybean flour. This dessert can be very seasonal and depending on what time of year it can take on very different forms. When we visited Mr. Sakamoto in Shibushi during cherry blossom season, he had a special surprise waiting for us. So after visiting the tea fields of Mr. Sakamoto, we finally get to drink a cold brew Gyokuro, Chameijin, and we got a Sakura Moji. This is very traditional in this time to have it and it is actually made out of rice or rice paste and there are red beans inside and covered or rolled in a sakura leaf. Although the making of these sweets is an old tradition, you can still find them at modern shops all across Japan. Let's head off to Tokyo to check out a high-end store selling beautiful wagashi in gift boxes. <laughs> place uh, from Japan and you really see that there are a lot of different pastries here for example chestnut pastry very very uh, famous in Japan either you have it just uh, with normal dough and the center or you have a whole chestnut in the middle which is this one here just amazing As you can see, the production of these sweets has really become an art, but dessert pairings can be very simple. Just find something sweet you enjoy that has a simple flavor and eat it alongside your favorite tea. Make a note of how the flavor changes with and without the sweet, and if you don't like it, you can always try something else next time. What's your favorite food pairing for green tea? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. We'd really love to hear your suggestions. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.